the reduction of silver chloride and bromide. Attention, silver halides are toxic to aquatic life with long-lasting effects. Ammonia can cause chemical burns on the skin, eyes and of the respiratory tract. It is also toxic to aquatic life. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. I had collected a small amount of silver halide salts, which is why I decided to recover the silver. There are several ways where this one only applies to silver chloride and bromide. It was stored for some time and not kept away from light, so a thin layer of silver had formed on its surface. First the beaker was covered and then concentrated ammonia was added with a pipette. Silver chloride and bromide do form a diamine silver complex in concentrated ammonia, which is soluble. Silver iodide doesn't form this complex. At the end, a large amount of ammonia was added because only a small part of the salts contained the iodide and most of it should have dissolved. Then it was stirred for a while to crush the salts. Of course it could have been crushed before with a mortar and pestle, but due to the small amount the loss would have been higher. In the end the silver iodide and traces of silver were left. The solution was filtered off where it could be seen that the particles of silver iodide were small enough to get through the filter, which is not a problem. Next, a piece of copper was added even though cheaper metals like zinc are usually used for this. Silver is more noble than copper and has a higher place in the electrochemical series, so the copper is oxidized and elemental silver is formed. The copper ions then form the deep blue tetraamine complex with the ammonia. The silver then simply falls off from the copper metal. Due to the color of the solution the silver seems to be quite dark. The silver particles were large enough so the solution could be decanted off. Then it was washed until the blue color of the copper was gone. The rest of the copper could easily be removed. From 1.14 grams of silver salts, 0.46 grams of silver were obtained, which seems to be a quantitative yield when the loss due to the iodide is considered. What's interesting is that under the microscope it can be seen that the particles have a branch-like structure. This was the reduction of silver chloride and bromide. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. If you want to see another method for the reduction of the silver amine complex, you can watch my video about tolerance reagent here, or you can watch my latest video here.